a point is moving along the curve 12y equals x cube because the degree is 3 so it, this is also known as cubical parabola and the question says which of the coordinates changes faster clearly we have to find dy by dt and dx by dt and majorly do two cases in one case if y coordinate is moving faster than x coordinate and secondly where the x coordinate is moving faster than y coordinate so what we could do we can differentiate it So first case, where dy by dt is greater than dx by dt. We have put the value of dy by dt here. So we have this thing with us. We'll make the linear factors. We'll draw the number line and we'll leave it like this. The second case, where dy by dx, where dy by dt is less than dx by dt. So in that, we'll be getting x square minus four less than zero. And x minus 2 into x plus 2 is less than 0. So now we can use number line or sometimes we call it a wavy curve method and we can solve everything at the same time. If I take a number between minus infinity to minus 2, this will give us positive because both the factors will be negative. So the product of two negative quantities will be positive. Between minus two to two, one factor will be positive. The other factor will be negative. So the product will be negative. And same way, it will be positive. So just see, for case one, if you remember, we are dy by dt, that is y coordinate was changing faster than x coordinate. This will be the situation. When x will be minus infinity to minus 2, union 2 to infinity all open, then y component will change faster than x component. And now you could guess that when x coordinate is changing faster, that is dy by dt is less than dx by dt. This is the region where x is belonging to open interval of minus 2 to 2. And now thirdly, what is happening at x is equal to plus minus 2? At x is equal to plus minus 2, though both the coordinates are changing, but respectively they will not change. So at x is equal to plus minus 2, dy by dt is equal to dx by dt. So they are changing, but they are equal in their change. So for them, relatively they will not change, but otherwise dy and dx both are changing and they are equal. So this is a very interesting question to know the concept of rate of change. Thank you.